Dr. Gregory House, the enigmatic doctor at the heart of one of my favorite shows, House MD, is renowned for his sharp wit, unorthodox diagnostic methods, and being a sassy doctor. I'll explain right after this break. But beneath his grumpy exterior and intellectual superiority, House's character is a complex study in vulnerability and personal growth. Throughout his show, House experiences transformative moments that peel away layers of his hardened exterior, revealing the depth of his actual humanity. And while it's easy to dismiss 99% of his actions as being a jerk, I beg to differ. Duh. In this brief grab bag analysis video, I aim to shed light on the intricacies of House's behavior and delve into the underlying reasons behind his tendency to push others away. At first glance, House's behavior might be mistaken for nothing more than a penchant for being difficult. It's tempting to label House as an ass. But to be honest, the truth is way more interesting. Throughout the series, House's vulnerabilities emerge in unexpected moments. His persistent pain, stemming from a leg infarction, serves as a haunting reminder of his own mortality, driving his desire to maintain emotional distance. I don't want to be in pain. I don't want to be miserable. In House's relationships, actions speak louder than words. The bond he shares with Wilson is proof that he is capable of showing vulnerability towards another person. While House's sarcasm may dominate most of their interactions, we know how deep their connection runs. There is a code, bros before hoes, man. House's interactions with his patients also offers profound insights into his motivations. The empathetic connection he forms with a patient suffering from PTSD exposes the depths of his own emotional damage. The parallels he draws between his patient's trauma and his own underscores his capacity for empathy. House also has an exchange with a young patient who survived a traumatic assault. He puts his jokes aside and opens up and has an honest conversation with her, something we've never seen him do before this point. When the moment matters, House cares and delivers. One of the most pivotal moments in House's character arc occurs during the Amber storyline in season four. Her unexpected death forces House to confront his culpability and confront his internal demons. In House's head and Wilson's heart, perhaps my nomination for the greatest one-two punch of back-to-back -back episodes ever, House's pain and intense emotions break down the indifference we're used to seeing. House is scared of being abandoned and of course, just like you and me, needs human connection. Another pivotal moment of the show comes at the end of season six, titled Help Me. When a woman gets pinned under rubble after a building collapses, House has to climb underneath to ease her mind, speak with her, and have her come to terms with amputating her leg. Listen to the speech that House gives, which to me is his most sincere, heartfelt moment on the entire show. But you saved your leg. I wish I hadn't. They cut out a chunk of muscle about the size of my fist. They left me with this mutilated, useless thing. I'm in pain every day. Made me a harder person, the worst person. Now I'm alone. House may seem like a grumpy jerk on the surface, but the depths of his character reveal a profoundly human individual with his own share of insecurities and complexities. Hugh Laurie put on an incredible nuanced performance in this show, and it's impossible to imagine anyone else pulling this off. House is actually a multifaceted character who feels, wants to connect, has insecurities just like you and me but most importantly, grows and transforms throughout his show. He reminds us of how intricate human nature really can be.